Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters. I am back. I had a crazy, hectic weekend, uh, so I didn't get a lot of material up. But if you're around last night at midnight, you know that we lunched. Hexcraft Mechanics issue two is up. It's ready to go. Hexcraft Mechanics is a 56 page urban fantasy action comic written and drawn by myself. It stars Victor Locke, Demon Hunter, Zombie Girl, Dracula, Ashen, Night Evil, all those characters from the Epitaph Bread and Salt movie, they're in this book, plus many, many more. So go ahead and check this out. Back it if you like it. Let's jump into this video. This lady's name is Danielle Steele. She is a prolific author of close to 200 books. She turns those things out and she is getting that fiction writing bag. So uh, she's got that cash. Some of her books have been turned into movies and all those good things. She's making that money. Now, the thing about it is, since you know this is a Mandela Effect video, you know something ain't quite right. Something is a little bit off. So the question is, what is it? What's off right here? Well, apparently, there's a lot of people who say, who say that her name used to be Danielle Steele with an E on the end. So it's Danielle Steele, S-T-E-E-L-E. -E -E. Now, again, this is one that I can say, I used to kind of see her name around, and I do remember her name having an E on it. But I can't really, you know, I didn't really read a lot of her books and things like that. She really didn't write the kind of material that I would read. But this was suggested to me by one of the viewers of the Mandela Effect on the Bible uh, video, which I do plan to do a part two to that. A lot, of, very, very popular uh, video that one was. And I do plan to do a part two to that, maybe even this week. But back to this one, this is an author that's still working. She's still doing material, still turning out material, and not one of her books, past or present, has the extra E. And if some of them did, this wouldn't be a great Mandela effect, would it? If people would just say, well, at some point she changed her name, right? But here's something that's very interesting. When you actually search Danielle Steele with the E on the end in quotation marks, you actually do pull up things that have the extra E. In fact, there's even an Amazon result that pops up. Now that could be just to direct people who are misspelling her name, you know, to that listing, which is probably the case. But CBS News gets it wrong in 2012 and Celeb Family gets it wrong as well. I found other listings with uh, still with the extra E. Some of those aren't even her. Some of those are just people uh, with a similar name. But there are listings, or I won't say listings, but there are uh, Amazon ads and things that when you type Danielle Steele with the E on the end, uh, it will take you to a list of the Danielle Steele books with no E on the end. So I popped over to Retconned, which is uh, another Mandela Effect uh, subreddit. And uh, this is from a year ago. They're actually talking about a residual over there. But I did see one person who actually had the same question I have and uh, the same question that a lot of people have when talking about the Mandela Effect. User Winter Tires asks, I really don't get it. What's the point of all these changes? It feels like I'm in a dream where you know something's off, but you keep going. The only difference for me is that in a dream, when I notice something is off and really focus on it, like a sink in the wrong place, I wake up and everything is back to normal. And I think the first part of that question is where most of us, people like myself, would stop and say, well, what's the point? But let me say this. This would be the uh, equivalent of someone like, say, Stephen King, and uh, us knowing his name is spelled with the P-H, suddenly we come back and find that his name is spelled S-T-E-V-E-N, King. We would all be like, at least a, a lot of us would be like, wait, what, what happened? Now, 
I know there's a lot of comic book people who are sub to my channel and are watching this probably. So if you remember Crisis on Infinite Earths, and I do mean the comic book, not the corny uh, CW uh, take on it, but the actual comic book series, at the end, uh, spoilers, the whole point was to uh, fix the DC universe, if you will, to kind of take all these things that they had created over time and kind of merge them into one thing. So if we're going to take the Mandela effect and say, yes, this is a thing, it's really happening, could that be an answer? Like, okay, in one universe, there was a Danielle Steele and she didn't have an E on the end of her name. And now that Danielle Steele is the Danielle Steele in this universe. And the other Danielle Steele with the E on the end, of, you know, that Danielle Steele is uh, in uh, some other place along with the uh, Sinbad Shazam movie. <laughs> That, wait, hold on. Let me and let me say something about that. Okay, now, when I did that the the Sinbad video, I had no idea that so many people were like, "No, dude, I saw that film. I held that film. Uh, you know, that film was X Y Z." And I talked to this person about this. It, same thing with the when we talked about Jerry Stiller. Same thing. I remember saying, "Mom." This is what it is. This guy is this. He died. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I remember all that. And uh, there are people saying the same thing about the Sinbad movie. And what I asked in a pinned comment was, tell me uh, about the movie. What can you tell me about the movie? So that's going to be my thing. A lot of people are saying, uh, when you ask people about the Sinbad film, they can't really give you any specifics. They can't say who starred in the movie. They can't say, uh, you know, and when they do give you plot points and stuff, I think I may have talked about this before, when they do give you plot points, some of the plot points they give you sound like, uh, you know, sound like the movie with Shaq. So is there a movie somewhere, or a universe somewhere where, uh, where Sinbad was actually in, you know, a movie called Shazam, Instead of, uh, you know, Shaq being in the movie Kazam and maybe, maybe this is the one, you know, it's like, it's like Trader Joe's, you know, like in America, we have Trader Joe's and Aldi. North, North America is like the only place that has a Trader Joe's and an Aldi. For those who don't know, Trader Joe's and Aldi's are the same thing. Uh, but, you know, maybe our universe was the only universe that for a time had Shazam and Kazam. And then at some point it kind of fixed itself and said, wait a minute, you're not supposed to have these two movies in the same universe. Now, with this particular Mandela effect, there are residuals, and we saw some of them. Residuals or residue is evidence of the old timeline or universe where the thing was different. Again, coming from comic books, I used to term timelines, but I see it kind of like, uh, like in Flash or Doctor Who or something like that. You know, somebody went back in time and changed some things, and then that created an alternative timeline. And uh, in that alternative timeline, things were slightly different, like a butterfly effect or something. So I use timeline uh, kind of interchangeably, you know, based around that kind of concept. So I know that people can get uh, really kind of focused on that kind of thing, which which is good. It means that you're really into the conversation. But residuals are like that one entry in the TV guide that says Berenstein instead of Berenstain. And it's kind of regarded as a misprint. On a side note, if you look up, there's Looney Tunes with the tune spelled T-U-N-E-S. We'll uh, tackle that one one day. But those are the kinds of things considered to be uh, residue of the Mandela effect. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. You can go check this out. And while you're checking that out, you can check out Hexcraft Mechanics issue two. That is, again, my supernatural action horror comic. If you like Blade or Constantine, Underworld, any of that kind of stuff, uh, that's what you're in for. And uh, when I say Constantine, I mean the comic book or the Keanu Reeves movie. I enjoy both of those. So, uh, probably closer to the movie though. I, I have a, uh, I, I was a, I have a big love for the Constantine movie and, uh, backing these projects supports me as well as helps me to create other projects. So, 
Other than that, guys, you take it easy. Nathan Brandon Masters. See you later on today. Asta. Don't look back. We're here to stay. A life we knew would come one day. And this is it, the borderline. To where the future leaves us behind. The fire will burn.